In this first little video, I'm going to walk through how to set up a basic Orchestra Galaxy. If you're com totally comfortable with the Orchestra IDE and have used it many times and know this or are comfortable with this, then you can skip it. But in my uh, computer, I have the Orchestra IDE pinned here. Or I could also go to All Programs, Wonderware. And when you install Orchestra, this is the basic default that you're going to see. So I would just go to the Orchestra IDE and start it up by clicking on it. And uh, here is where you would actually create your galaxy. I've already created one called Orchestra Scripting, which is a base galaxy, has nothing in it. And But uh, to create it, I just go New Galaxy. And then you see this, it says Galaxy Type, Base Application Server Cab it is just a base starter. It gives you every all the pieces you need to start with. I could actually go, and I have some other galaxies in the backup galaxies folder that can be uh, brought in as cabs to create a new galaxy essentially a clone off of the one that I had already previously made but in this case I'm just going to use base application server which has the very minimum in it and once you've got your galaxy created you just hit connect and so now that we've connected to the galaxy First thing I want to touch on is the three mo the three views. You have the model view, the deployment view, derivation view. Model view is where you're going to see the hierarchy of the galaxy, and you can arrange it how you want your alarms to flow up. Uh, and we'll go into more detail on that in other tutorials. The deployment view is where things are actually going to be placed in the galaxy, as far as which physical platform objects are going to reside on. Okay, the next view then is the derivation view, and in the derivation view is where you're going to see all of your object templates, and this is where we start from when we're creating instances. The objects we're going to be creating instances off of in this module are the Win platform, the app engine area, and view engine. So we go to the Win platform template, right click, new instance. So here is our first platform that's created in the G in the Galaxy repository in the IDE and it's going to be it's going to be the Galaxy repository uh, platform the first platform created is always going to be the GR so we'll change its name to GR and you notice it actually is going to be different in appearance and color it's it's a yellow color every other platform that's created has a different color it's a blue color so it's obvious whenever you're looking at all of the platforms in a single view that which one is the GR but we are going to call it the GR. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create an app engine object, or excuse me, instance. Then we're going to create an area instance and a view engine instance. So now once we've created our instances, we'll go to the deployment view. If you look in unassigned host, you'll see that's where all of our uh, items have fallen out. So we're going to put the app engine on the GR, and we'll just drop it on top of there. It's going to create this hierarchical relationship. So we know now that app engine one is going to deploy to the GR platform. Then we could drag an area. So this app engine area one will reside on app engine one on the GR. Then we'll drag the view engine onto the GR. Now we see it has a side-by-side uh, -side relationship so that we have a GR, an application engine with one area, and a view engine. If the view engine is a special engine which only has one type of object, the InTouch application object, which will reside there. And InTouch application objects are created either from an InTouch application template or if you import an existing InTouch application, it will be created as an application object and will reside in one of these view engines. Hope this has been helpful. You can move on to the next step.